the piece is about identity and um, how as a young person, sometimes our identity is assigned to us um, rather than it being able to be freely developed. So um, this piece was, was about uh, a kind of wrestling with disillusionment and wrestling with um, kind of preconceived notions of, of who I should be. Um, and, and that came from um, lots of different resources as a child. And growing into a woman, it really did occur to me that I, I had permission to be who I wanted to be and that those concepts didn't fit me. So, or at least the, the concepts I had been operating under, voluntarily operating under, even though you know, some of them were, were kind of handed to me. Um, so it was, it was a moment of um, taking command of myself and, um, and letting go of old ideas of, of what I should be versus who I really am. And then in terms of technique, um, I'm, I'm a lover of stripes, so they tend to come around. So my piece has a lot of stripes in it. But, um, and that's just significant because I, I wear them, I doodle them, I um, do that. Uh, the work is part digital print, part hand painted, um, some hand stitching, some machine stitching, and um, it was a digital print of a watercolor painting I had I had made. So there's you know layers of old tech, new tech happening in the work. I have worked a lot with um, identity and self self portrait in my in my career, and um, I I felt like this particular piece talked a lot about going beyond what you initially see. And um, I'm, I'm 44 years old and I, and I think women uh, my age, younger, a little older, we are all wrestling with that uh, space of, um, you know, who am I versus who have I tried to be? So, you know, going beyond the mirror is a lot about that kind of spiritual exercise of, of really knowing your identity. Yeah, I start with a plan. I, I love a sketchbook and I love journaling and, um, but I also love that exchange between the work and me uh, and, and just to let it evolve wherever it may take me.